Hey friends, it's Chloe with Chloe's Colorful Plans and today we're going to be setting up my work planner from June 20th through the 26th and because the first day of summer is this week, I thought I would finish off. I used some of these tropical, well most of them because there was two sheets <laughs> of these tropical, um, I guess flowers and leaves for my, I think it was my was it my catch-all planner monthly and currently? I think so. I should know this, but whatever. But we have a few things left over and I thought it would be fun to kind of put it at the bottom of this page because I don't have a lot of them left, but I don't need a whole lot of stickers to decorate this planner because it's, you know, for work. So it's, I try to keep it pretty functional. So I thought we would go with this nice, um, I probably need to white out some stuff. So let's go ahead and get rid of all the little hearts first off. And then, oh no, this thing is sticking to my desk, but I'm not gonna panic. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, um, normally with lines like this, I would use my white um, gel pen, but this is a printed page that I printed myself and my inkjet printer does not play nicely with the white gel pens. So we kind of have to use the tape, just FYI. Um, so I'm gonna put this, actually I think I'm gonna like, ooh, that was squeaky, so sorry. Um, then I'll put fun over here. I'm fun. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some of these clusters and just kind of put them down. Hopefully it's cute. <laughs> just kind of going with it. And once these stickers are down on on this uh since it is a printable, the um, ink also gets pulled up with stickers. So kind of once I put them down, uh, they're not usable anywhere else because there's going to be lines on them. So it forces me to be a little more spontaneous than normal. And I guess I could pull out the wax paper, but because these spreads tend to go so fast, it seems like it just makes it longer than necessary. Oh. See, this is the thing I'm talking about. I think I should. So the, oh, nope, that one's there forever. Um, there's no other, okay, I literally used them all. Okay. Maybe I could get away with putting like this over here just to kind of let's see balance it out but we're just gonna go with it let's see I'm gonna take off these and that too just get rid of the main lines there we go okay see that kind of covered up the fact that I ran out of leaves <laughs> Um, I think I've literally used everything in that color palette, except for the big tropical, um, which I don't think I'm going to use, but there's two little like, okay, so we can do this, two little specks so we can make it feel like the leaves are coming into the spread. Another empty page. Okay. So now I need something. Oh, I put that on crooked. Well, it is what it is. Um, I need something up here. I don't think I have any pink. Oh, sorry. Pink thick washies that are the right shade of pink. Most of those are pastel colors. Greens aren't quite right either. Well, 
I mean, this could be you no. Know, okay, let's see. Um, I do have these skinny washies, and I think this is kind of a close enough pink. And we do have this yellow to contend with. So I could do yellow and pink at the top, which would be very summery. Um, it's not really the right yellow though. There is this yellow elsewhere in the spread though. Let's see. I'm gonna just clean this up real quick. It is, there is that shade of yellow in some of the flowers. It's just not as pronounced as the gold yellow because of the words summer. Oh, that was tricky. And there we go. Add some of this pink to the bottom of the yellow to kind of make it a little less in your face. Okay. Cut that. Then we'll cut this. Oh no. Skinny washi is no joke to mess with. <laughs> like, got like it all stuck on my fingers. Okay. What else do we need? I think we could put some boxes. I think I have some of this green. Yeah. So oh, I've already used. I think so. Well, the lighter green is probably okay. Maybe. Let's see. Put it up here. It's not terrible. Okay. So I don't think this is going to be my favorite spread, honestly. <laughs> it's just not shaping out that way. And then I go and put this box on crooked. But, ooh. Sometimes when I really don't like a spread, after a little bit, I come around, you know. At the end of the day, they're cute stickers, so they can overcome a lot. Okay, there's that. Um... ahead and add dates. Oof. I don't think I'm going to make it another month. With these, um, of course, you guys know I've been saying I need to get more for a while. These are just like, how do I say this? I would much rather buy decorative stickers with my sticker budget than the ones that are functional. <laughs> but, you know, you kind of have to have the functional too to make things work. So I'm like the same way with like clothes. Like I'm always buying like really bright, like crazy patterns and stuff. And then I don't buy any neutrals to pair with said crazy patterns and whatnot. And then I'm like, okay, well, I don't have an outfit because all of these crazy patterns don't go together. <laughs> So, you know, it's a personality flaw in general. I'm glad it leaks over into other areas of my life. Okay, let's see. Um, I need something up there. As far as a box or something. Well, I might just leave it alone. I wish I had more of those, but such is life. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to call it. It's cute enough. It's not my favorite, but you can't love them all, right? So anyway, 
Make sure you hit that subscribe button already, and I will see you next time, friend. Bye.